name is Chin here, and I'm going to record the accessibility video for Warhammer Vermintide 2. That shark game. Alright. First off, go to the option. Okay. There is a lot of options here. And I would say most of them are fantastic. Uh, very well done. Let's see. Head bobbing, crouch. That's that's definitely a very uh, helpful one. Toggle crouch because for people like me that play with their chin, trying to hold down buttons is difficult. Double tap dodge. Let me check something out before I. Okay. One of the things I wish that this had would be the bindings for the Xbox controller. Like, I wish you could actually customize your buttons. Um, I know a lot of games let you do it, and I, I know some don't, and that would be a big, very big um, another thing that I wish they would do, dodge, instead of having to double tap it or what, whatnot, I wish you could use the analog stick, double tap it in a way that you want to dodge. Like how some games have it where when you double, double tap, you can run and sprint. This game doesn't have sprint, which is fine. I wish they had it where you could double tap the direction you want to dodge, and it would dodge that way, having to hit a button. That would be really huge, uh, probably even a game changer, honestly. That's something that I hope they can... Another thing would be... Now, I'm going to back out of the options real quick. Legacy Sticks is where... Up on the joystick, go forward. Down, you go backwards. Left on the joystick. Left, right turns right. It's on the same analog stick. For me, it, the left stick is the right stick. But, for most people, that would be the left analog stick. I guess he sticks again with up, move forward, down, move back, left turns. Right turn. And on the other analog stick, which would be the right analog stick, well, up looks for me down. I have it set to invert, but it would be up and up. Um, left strafes, right strafes. Sorry for the dogs. Well, we have maintenance and park a little bit. Let's go back. Wrong way. Okay. Another reason that it would be easier if you could customize your own buttons is because on the Xbox I had to swap my L and my R B so I could actually do the move. Rear move. Um, I, so another thing which what I was saying is legacy stuff. I have the Xbox Elite 2. It allows me to make legacy sticks by default. However, not everybody has the ability to afford an Xbox. Legacy sticks would be so incredibly helpful for those who don't have the ability to use two analog sticks simultaneously. Allow them to run and turn to fight instead of having to take their, in my case, my chin off the analog stick to turn. It and takes time away from the fight. This game, especially when you're playing on Legend, Cataclysm, 
champion. That is so crucial. If you can't pick it, hit once and your health will that would be something that would be um, another thing would be guarding. I could be able to hold down the button to guard. I have mine set to the or the right clicker. Well not everybody can hold down buttons very well, so toggle option would be amazing. Press it, and it, it stays blocking until you press it again, or until you, you know even your shield runs out. That would be another. Other one would be toggle aim. This is a big one. toggle aim. Thankfully, and you guys did this beautifully. Crosshairs. A lot of games do not use crosshairs. Have to. If you aim or you don't hit. Thankfully, you guys did that crosshairs. It's a big, big. Money. But there's still sometimes with some of these weapons, where the aim to do the secondary version of that weapon, which sometimes is kind of a thing. Holding down the button is kind of difficult when you want to, like, even shoot. We're trying to move and hold it down. We're not fighting Sometimes my chin goes no. off of the analog stick. I end up going from this to this. It happens when you're left to right. Um, you get a toggle feature where you just click it and it stays game mode until you press it again. That would be another... Another thing that I times where I have to jump on things. You well, know, I'm for the most part okay being able to jump, but there's some people that can't. And I understand that you have to jump some longer jumps, and it might take away from the game at an auto jump. But there's also times where there's like a little step or a little piece of concrete stuck on that you jump. Walking. I'd be holding down the button. Doing this, I don't have to jump. That's a little difficult uh, to do. So if you had an auto jump feature, that could allow you to just walk up to the step or whatever is a little jump and then automatically very, very helpful instead of having to rely on you know, this. Especially like if you're this, if you're blocking. Oh. Well, I either have to quit blocking or I have to bait and jump afterwards. By that time, your allies are sometimes deep, far enough away, or it'll just come swamp, swamp it. Guard. But other than that, as did fantastic job. It was a lot easier to play than I was. Well, when I first played it, I wasn't able to play it well because before I got the Elite Two, before it was out, I could There was no legacy sticks. If I have to do this number, I'd have to move, stop, turn. It would t technically turn. I have it on straight right now. Number that you have to turn, like the equivalent of this. Stop. Move to the other joystick. Find what you want. Ping. Move again. Stop. Well, happen to move and stop like that. He will run away from. You. Those are just some of my. Personal opinion. Especially being able to. I don't know about computer. I play on Xbox. I don't know if the PC can already do that. So I'm not going to speak on that. I'm not going to speak on things that are impairment or audio impairment because I don't have to. 
Careful. Range of motion. Dimension. Hopeful. That's it overall. Uh, everything else has been done really well. No problems at all. Good job. Listen. A lot of developers. Guys are. Listen. But actually, I'm glad to see a lot of developers starting. Glad Guys enjoyed the accessibility. And it shut down this one, and then I'm gonna go live with an actual stream playing. Total words of one, Rowan 10. <laughs>